What's up, everybody? How's it going? Austin Prechtel, Prechtel of Performance, coming at you live today. Today, today, today. We're going to be talking about a fun topic. And I've touched on it in the past a little bit um, in terms of like fake sugars and things like that. And, um, you know, every time people end up seeing something about fake sugars, they're always like, oh, like it's going to give you cancer, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I'm here to talk about why. If you know how calories and macros and micronutrients and things like that work, um, fake sugars like, you know, aspartame, um, neotame, or I guess aspartame, um, and, you know, there's several others like, you know, stevia, saccharin, sucralose, things like that. All of those um, can actually be beneficial to your weight loss goals if you use them in a, um, you know, moderate like within moderation and then also in 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 like a you know strategic way uh it can help you long term um for your weight loss goals it can help you um you know like case in point i wouldn't be drinking these if they're bad for me like you know it's one of those things like if if <laughs> you hear a lot about um one study in particular it's like a rat study that they did that was just like you know they gave these rats like a shit ton of um <laughs> aspartame and like the rats got cancer but it was like an extremely high dosage of it um and it's one of those things so like you know and people like to run off with with things and overblow um you know like certain things the media likes to take and run run away with it or make big headline news and stories and things like that without getting the full picture um for certain things like this and so um i'm here to tell you guys that Fake sugars are fine, like like within mod with like with moderation, especially if you're like a healthy adult, you're eating a balanced diet, you understand how macros, micros, um, and calories work, and you and you follow through with it, you're gonna be fine. Like you're going to be able to utilize fake sugars um, as a tool to help you lose weight. And so, as you guys are tuning in, let me know how your uh, day is going. So this is what it's gonna be about. Um, let me know how your day is going. Uh, drop a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing today uh, before we jump into this. But yeah, so fake sugars. Uh, I'm going to be talking about why they're important for sustainability's sake for a fitness journey long term um, to make something sustainable for you. Because at the end of the day, like I've said many times, the best diet, nutrition plan, fitness journey, whatever you want to call it, is the one that you can fucking stick to. And, you know, if you you know, are over consuming like crazy, you're eating a lot of sugar and things like that. Um, and you're eating, which is, and sugar is not inherently bad. At the end of the day, I just want to say sugar is not inherently bad. It is not like, it, it does not have like, you know, like these super, um, you know, it tastes good. Right. And so it does play a role like in our brain chemistry and things like that, but it's not like this hyper addictive thing that people always talk about. It's just a super nutrient dense food, right. That tastes good. It's just a super nutrient dense carbohydrate that tastes really good. And so, you know, sugar's not inherently bad. Fat's not inherently bad. Like blah, 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 blah. Food is not inherently bad. There's no bad or good food. They're just micronutrient dense foods that are going to probably be more conducive to your goals and your overall like well-being, like feeling good and versus like micronutrient empty foods that are probably not going to be the like ideal thing. So that's why I always like encourage people to follow this like 80 20 rule and so you know when it comes to you know 80 percent of your food from like whole like more like you know um you know complete foods that aren't super ultra processed and things like that and the other 20 percent totally fucking fine if you want to have you know ice cream you want to have like you know chips or candy or whatever it may be for that other 20 percent and it fits within your calories and macros by all means fucking go for it you're gonna be fine um because you're getting your micronutrients that are necessary from the other 20 or the other 80 percent you're good. You're Gucci. Um, and so um, when it comes to these fake sugars, like the ones that I just kind of listed off um, that are approved for, by the FDA, um, you know, they can have a lot of benefits, um, especially when it comes to making your journey sustainable and more enjoyable. And at the end of the day, what that means is less shitty and less miserable. And so, um, you know, if it's less if it's a less miserable time, you're probably going to stick with it. And so that well, that's where sustainability comes into play. And so um, you know, making sure that, you know, as long as you understand how calories, macros and micronutrients work in general, 
you're going to be fine. And so, you know, they can have, they, they've shown that, you know, fake sugars are better for people when it comes to, you know, blood sugar regulation, um, when it comes to your dental health, because the bacteria in your mouth that utilize sugar and then break down your enamel and things like that and cause cavities, they don't, they're not as good at processing these fake sugars um, as they are, you know, regular, like normal sugar. And so, you know, among those benefits, you know, if you're consuming fake sugars, like sugar alcohols and things like that, of that nature, you're going to be less likely to consume more like actual sugar, which translates to, you know, more calories. So if you consume these things, you're consuming less calories. That's why these are like a super effective tool, um, you know, for still feeling like you're getting to enjoy yourself and, you know, being able to, um, you know, lose weight. And so, you know, the thing that happens that you guys need to be careful of and be aware of that, you know, that this is where it comes into play. You see a lot of studies are like, when they studied like Americans or the American diet or blah, 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 that found that, you know, people that consume diet drinks, you know, gained weight or had a higher chance of like diabetes and things like that. It's because those people, you know, were just kind of living their lives all willy nilly and they weren't keeping track of all this shit when it comes to like your calories and macros. They weren't properly educated when it came to nutrition. They're just tracking people and having them do these things. And they were still like, and a lot of times people, you know, they're like, oh, I had a diet soda. It's okay if I have that, you know, other high calorie or high sugar or high whatever um, nutrient food. And then what happens is, is, well, no shit, you're going to gain weight because you're still at the end of the day consuming more calories than you need. And so this helps you take advantage of, you know, your, your knowledge about energy balance and calories and macros. This is zero calorie. I'm not going to gain any weight from this. You cannot tell me that I'm going to gain weight for this. I won't period. It's not going to happen. And so instead of me drinking a, you know, one of these, instead of me drinking one of these, um, you know, I might have had, I don't really like soda that much, but I, I could, and hypothetically, I could have consumed a soda. And then that would have been calories that would have been added to my day. And then I would have potentially been over on my calories for the day and then I would have gained weight. And so this is a useful, helpful tool for a lot of people to, you know, within moderation, like obviously don't be slamming like 20 of these a day um, for one reason I'm going to talk about here in a second. But, um, you know, you can have like they've shown you can have like up to like four or five like diet sodas a day. And you're totally fine. You know, you're totally fine. You can have, you know, fake sugars are in everything like newsflash. Fake sugars are in like a lot of stuff and you're consuming it. Um, you know, whether you probably realize it or not, because not a lot of people, uh, you know, read the nutrition label on their, you know, a lot or the ingredients and things like that. UPS guy just dropped off a package. Um, and so, you know, that's that's the reality of the situation. So it's in a lot of stuff that you guys might not realize. Um, at the end of the day that you're, so you're already consuming it. You might not even know it. And so one thing I will say is that, you know, I, I think that it's just like, you know, like a really useful tool for a lot of people to help them. Like I said, enjoy, enjoy things that taste good. And so this is the other thing too, as long as you get enough micronutrients in, doesn't matter. Yeah. These are nutrient devoid. Yeah. There's no, there's no like, you know, micronutrients in fake sugars, like they're nutrient devoid. Which, which in a lot of ways is actually, you know, like it's totally fine. It's not like I'm like eating like a stevia packet a day, uh, to get, to get my fake sugar fix in. Um, if you're consuming fruits and vegetables and things like that, like you're going to be fine. And so, you know, don't shy away from this like tool, this tool that can be extremely helpful in your fitness journey, in your weight loss journey, um, because then you don't have to necessarily feel like you're missing out. You can make certain foods that might not taste as good. You can make them taste better. Um, and so, yeah. And so the other thing I'll say is like, the last thing I will say is, you know, obviously like kind of leading back to the whole, like, don't pound like, like pounds of this stuff or like, you know, like don't drink like 20 diet sodas a day or whatever it may be. Um, or have like 20, diet rum and cokes a day or some shit like that. Obviously don't do that. It'd be bad for your liver, but, um, but, um, you can, uh, you know, they have, there are some studies coming out that, you know, that, that have shown that there is the potential that it can impact your gut microbiome a little bit, um, which can, you know, impact other parts of your, of your life. But again, like with anything moderation and sustainability, right? 
Like if you if you consume 20 of anything or like or 10 of anything, uh, you're probably pushing the limits a little bit, right? Um, we we want to make sure that we're focusing on moderation. We want to make sure that we're focused on sustainability. But this is just a useful tool to be able to like enjoy. You know, if you're somebody that hates hates water for whatever reason, you can throw you can drink one of these. You can throw some like mio or you know other flavor like like um, you know Minute Maid lemonade packets into there, and you will get your water in. It's like at the end of the day, it's like a cost benefit ratio, right? Like you know. Like, obviously, like, I'm not saying that this stuff's inherently, like, healthy for you, right? But it's also not inherently, like, evil, like a lot of people like to, like, uh, portray it as being. And at the end of the day, if it's going to help you lose fucking weight, or it's going to help you get to get in better shape and make you happier, you know, is it really all that bad? No, I don't think it is. And so I don't think you guys should, like, you know, buy into a lot of the bullshit that you see online sometimes, or if the next time... Like a Karen tells you, like, you shouldn't drink those. They're bad for you. They're going to give you cancer. Just tell her to suck it and, like, you know, be like, look at my abs or whatever it may be. <laughs> um, but still, you guys get what I'm saying. So at the end of the day, like, you know, everything in moderation is cool. Like, fake sugars aren't going to kill you. Um, they're more than likely, as long as you're properly educated on nutrition, fitness, nutrition, um, you know, calories, macros, micros, you're going to be fine. So, Enjoy that fake sugar uh, soda and all that good stuff or out or, or like rum and coke or whatever it may be that you're, you know, trying to enjoy, you know, low calorie syrup, low calorie, um, you know, a lot of things that are low calorie. That's what they use. Um, you know, go enjoy that and don't let somebody feel make you feel bad about it. If it's helping you stick to your diet, stick to your fitness journey, stick to your um, nutrition plan because at the end of the day, sustainability is key. Have a good ass rest of your day. Happy winning Wednesday. Let me know your number one takeaway from this live in the comments. Um, feel free to share it. Um, and yeah, give it a like. And I will talk to you guys later. Hashtag replay if you're watching this later time. Peace, everybody.